Hey everyone, it's Pierre here. I was just uh, just got done taking my NCLEX nursing licensure exam and I wanted to share with you what my experience was like, subjective, blah, blah, blah. So right now I'm on the roof of the Georgia Cyber Center, uh, downtown Augusta. Behind me is the Morris Museum of Art. That's where I took my NCLEX at the Pearson uh, Testing Center on the sixth floor. So yeah, I scheduled my exam for 1 p.m. I showed up around 12, I headed downtown around 12, parked on Broad Street. I don't want to pay for parking and then I walked over to the building got there probably around 12 15 started my exam around 12 30 12 45 I finished my exam at 1 o'clock 1 50 in the afternoon so that's like what almost two hours maybe I took a five minute pee break during the exam and that was when I was um on question number 40 <clears throat> because of the way I prepared for the exam <laughs> I would take 35 question quizzes and um, so at 40 I tapped out and said okay well that's enough time and so I went and ate a little bit of my cabbage and beans in the hallway and went to the bathroom uh, there wasn't a water fountain there so as I'm coughing right now I didn't have any water <clears throat> during my break but it wasn't the end of the world I got cut off at 75 questions um, right now how I would describe how I'm feeling after the exam is, um, you know, not 100%. I know I didn't crush every single question, but, you know, according to Mark Klemek, you know, you know, every challenging question that you get is a good sign. It means that you're getting all the easy questions right, and so they're going to give you more select all that apply and more questions that are you're like, I don't know what the hell that drug is, or I don't know what that is. I didn't get bogged down too much with, um, OB and PED stuff. Um, funny enough, I listened to the Mark Klemek lecture portion on OB and PEDs on YouTube on double speed. And thank goodness I didn't have any questions that were related to the material I didn't understand, which was like the different phases of labor and, um, you know, contraction periods. I didn't have a single uh, fetal heart monitoring strip or a uterine contraction strip, which was kind of reassuring. Um, so I feel I don't want to jinx myself and say I did well, but I think I did okay. I think I passed. Um, I don't think I was doing duds the entire time, and according to the Kaplan practice test I took for free and the U-World assessments, I had a strong probability of passing, so I'm fairly confident. Um, I will say major props to U-World. The formatting was almost identical in, down to the calculator that you use, except for the font difference, the NCLEX font was a little bit more, it looked like Times New Roman and not what you normally see on UWorld, but other than that, like exactly the same. Um, I wish I would have practiced with these earplugs. Uh, I still have mine in, that way I can kind of focus on my voice a little bit more and not all the sounds around me. But um, that's just retrospective looking back. Um, yeah, I'll be making a video about how I studied and prepared for the NCLEX and my system. Maybe I'll make it all into one big video, I'm not sure yet. But pretty positive experience taking the exam. Uh, what else? Getting processed in, that was kind of like uh, going through TSA. You know, you had to do a, a palm scanner and you had to put your possessions in a locker, put your phone in a bag, and they have to cut it out of the bag a special way. Otherwise, my scores could be delayed. And um, they made you empty out all your pockets, uh, make sure there was nothing in them. And so wear something with no pockets, like pant-wise. They give you these earplugs. They have some uh, mitt muffs to cover your ears. And then you have audio headphones, which are like over the ear. So you could switch between the two if you needed. But uh, I didn't have any audio questions, so I didn't need to personally worry about that. I also didn't have any picture questions. like No like clicking and labeling the diagram. I didn't have that. Uh, no videos like only one or two exhibit questions. Uh, a lot of prioritization um, at the end. I got a lot of prioritization questions. And um, what else? Oh, the survey at the end. So I just like, I was like, I'm not trying to put any effort into this survey. So I would just click one answer, like the top answer and just went through it. And then I saw in the lower left hand corner, there's a end exam. And I was like, oh, I could just step out now. I don't have to, you know, give the NCSBN more data than they already have like why would I help them you know make the cohorts futures kind of hell by them collecting mass data on these just 
very clunky and difficult questions that they're going to be having. Um, all in all, I feel okay. Today is June the 8th, Wednesday, June the 8th. And yeah, oh, my, this morning I uh, woke up and took the dog for a walk around the block around 7 in the morning. Then I went to the gym and worked out. And uh, then sauna, got home, showered, went and ate lunch at my grandparents, dropped my dog off, and headed downtown to uh, the testing center. It was a pretty calm day. I kind of enjoyed having the afternoon time. I know a lot of people recommend getting it over with in the morning because that's when you're the freshest, but I felt fine. Yeah, tomorrow's June 9th, my birthday. I'm really excited for that. So um, I'll be 24. I'm getting old. But I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, everything in my little notebook. So I'm not going to make this video till you know, I'm out of the woods and uh, I have my license. That way I'm not, you know, jinxing everything and sounding arrogant. But um, I know I should be humble and, you know, just calm and everything. But yeah, so thank you for following me along on this journey. And I'll uh, keep you updated on what happens next. All right, so today is Thursday, June 9th, one day after I took my NCLEX, and it's my, also my birthday, and what better present to get for your birthday than your nursing license? So my manager at Augusta University Medical Center, shout out to Lindsay, uh, texted me and told me congratulations, and I said, what, what's going on here? Um, turns out I got my nursing license, and I found out the day after I took the exam. So um, the way you find out, there's the Pearson View trick, where you like try to register for another NCLEX exam, that's not necessarily the most reliable. Um, but you can go, if you're in the state of Georgia, you can go to the state website and search your name for your nursing license. And I'm gonna show you a screen recording of how to find that. And that's how you can surefire know <clears throat> how you did on the NCLEX and that you passed and that you got your license. So all in all, not bad experience. Uh, turning this chapter in my life, uh, NCLEX is over with, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for sticking around, and I'm excited to see what the next chapter in life holds. So we're on Google now. We're going to go to the Georgia Secretary of State website. Ba, ba, ba. It's taking me a while to type it. Okay, click up there, Georgia Secretary of State homepage. There's Ben Raffensperger. Go up in the upper right-hand corner to licensing, and you're going to see in the second column to the left, a uh, license search. Click on that. Okay, now we're going to specify which license we're looking for. If you go down to the bottom in the R's, you'll find Registered Professional Nurse. I'm going to take a couple seconds to hover over it. Hover over it, blah, blah, blah. Um, you don't need to specify license type, just do all. And then you're going to type in first name, so I type in Pierre. And then we're going to type in our last name, Lafour. And then search. And then two licenses will pop up, your single state license and your compact license. You get both of them when you take the NCLEX in the state of Georgia now. So if you click on that, it'll pull up. Let's see, there's the... All right, now let's click on it. So this will have your name, all your details, your license number. That's important. And um, that's how you know you pass the NCLEX. You can search that on the second day. and You'll kind of have instant gratification knowing you passed or 